This is the lesson for week seven, day two, May 12th. And today you're going to go to the second grade distance learning page, and you're going to listen to the story A Birthday Basket for Tia. And the genre is realistic fiction. It tells about made up events that could happen in real life. Look for things that could happen at Tia's birthday. And so, just a small introduction to the story, boys and girls, as I turn the pages. A family is planning a celebration for a special relative. Maybe the pictures give you clues. Someone creates a special basket for a person. What you're going to do is you're going to read to find out what is in the basket. And then at the end of the story, it makes you think about, okay, if you were going to make a special birthday basket for someone, what would you put in your basket? So I did that, boys and girls. I created a basket, and I want to show you what I would put in my birthday basket for someone. So the first thing I chose in my birthday basket, and thank you, Zella, for the nice basket you gave me, is a pick a card and it's a peony and that's one of my favorite flowers it was one of my mom's favorite flowers so that's a card that i could write in and cheer someone up another thing that i would put in a basket is my solar flower it goes by the sun and you know i've gotten some of those from some of you and i thank you and they sit in my window so don't they so i thought this is one that i got a long long time ago and i thought I could share that with someone to cheer them up. So that's two things. Oh, you know that I love to color, especially with new crayons. So I thought, oh, my birthday basket could have crayons in it. Everybody likes to color a little bit, if not a lot. And then a seashell. It's a very special, special shell, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought someone would really like that. So that was in my birthday basket. And then I thought, a sweet treat, which has got some healthy things in it. That would be a nice little gift. And last but not least, a beautiful rock. It's just so cool. So it's kind of a special rock, and I thought, no, I need to share that with someone. So that's kind of many things that I have. Two. Four, six. There are six things in the basket in our story. So re read along and listen to what six things are in the basket for a birthday basket for Tia. The second thing I'm going to ask you to do is to go to your spelling sheet. And yesterday's lesson went over the words. So the word endings are T-I-O-N and T-U-R-E. T-I-O-N and T-U-R-E. So let's read through those again. Mixture, T-U-R-E. Nation, T-I-O-N is shun. Section, future, picture, action, caution, station, Fixture, motion, nature, and feature. A feature of my rock that I just showed you is its a uh, feature is it's bumpy. So boys and girls, it's just two word patterns this week. T-U-R-E and T-I-O-N. So they're a little bit easier than they look like, than they, than they look, okay? And then words to know are peace, like a piece of meat and tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So that's page 315. And then on 316, I just need for you to do the crossword puzzle. I'm going to cross the bottom out. You do not need to do the bottom. But I want to give you a couple answers for the crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle, write list words in the puzzle. Okay? So 
what word in our word list or spelling words means care? That one's kind of tr tricky. Caution. When I see a red cone on the highway, I drive with care or caution. I'm really careful. And then number four across is nation. Another nerd word for our country is our nation. So remember these go across and these go down. So if you copy those two words in, it's not gonna be difficult at all. All right? So enjoy your story, birthday basket for Tia. Listen to what was put in the basket and then do your spelling sheet. All right? So that ends week seven, day two of reading.